you. Let's get you straight to highlights of this final Triple Crown event of the year. Yeah, three races each for 250 and 450. And it was going to be a big night for championship leader Jet Lawrence. But how exactly did it play out? Let's get you to the first race because it got going with a bang literally and figuratively. Yeah, Mitchell Oldenburg coming up short right there, claiming a lot of victims because of that, because it gets so narrow right here in this 90 degree corner. I mean, he comes up way short, takes down Adam Cianzarulo, a whole bunch of other guys, Jet Lawrence, there's Vince Freezy, Chase Ray, Sexton. Reigning champ, yep, Chase Sexton, and uh, really just throwing a wrench in things. That would end Adam Cianzarulo's night. Under Lawrence was leading. He drops it while Eli Tomac was in pursuit. Why we watch, yep, the next thing you know, he's down. Then Jet Lawrence, he's trying to make his way through up and minimize the damage, come through the pack. He did make a great comeback, but this was really scary right here, Lee. He is being, uh, Ken Rox is being ensued by Jet Lawrence, and something happens with this bike. He makes a major mistake. I'm not sure if that happened because of the bike and it malfunctioning, but uh, nevertheless, he would uh, he would fall down a lap behind. Jet Lawrence continued his climb through the field. It was quite the comeback. Remember, he was involved in that lap one incident, and he just kept carving his way through position at a time. Meanwhile, up front, Eli Tomac was enjoying some time in the lead. Well, this was a great ride by Eli, and uh, he looked great earlier today in time qualifying practice, and you just wonder when that elusive win the 2024 season was coming. So win number one on the night for Eli Tomac. Let's take you to the second race, and it was Justin Cooper who got a blinder of a start. He's being pursued by Jet Lawrence early on. Well, I thought Lawrence had it, but when he was taking Eli a little bit wide there, it allowed Justin Cooper to sneak up the inside, and he led for a couple laps, but comes up short there through that rhythm section, and then let the 18 get by. But I think the moral of the story on this race, even though Jet Lawrence wins, is I think this was a learning lesson that is going to propel this 2024 season for Eli Tomac. And why do I say that? Because he said it, and I was thinking it as well, as he learned a lot. Cooper Webb goes down. Got to be mindful of those insides. We talk about them all the time. Those tough blocks are like Velcro. Yeah, his foot peg caught on that. Right. So, Chet Lawrence out in front, clearly. Tomac couldn't catch him. He crosses the line first, but there's a big but. At that moment there, Jet Lawrence realized he jumped on the Red Cross flag and he is furious about it. Well, we'll tell you more about this in just a moment because he wasn't the only one and penalties would be coming. Yes, there it is again on replay and that's the moment that Lawrence realized what had transpired. We'll tell you more about that again coming up shortly. Let's take you to the highlights of the third and final race and we probably should say that Eli Tomac actually was granted the win in race two. So this is the moment he realizes he's going for the sweep. Well, confidence breeds confidence, Diff. You know all about that. But this is where the night turned for the worse for Chet Lawrence and an absolutely violent, violent impact. And it's going to be interesting to see if this young, this young man is uh, going to be okay and there's no lingering injury from that and it was i haven't seen a violent hit like that in a long time but two-time champ cooper webb he gets by chase sexton sexton slips up isn't able to jump the triple and this was a clutch ride for cooper webb he'll end up second overall on the night and he closes the points gap to only eight points behind this man right here with a weekend off and seeing jet riding that's that's kind of um I like that. That's comforting to see, but uh, he won't he won't make any points. And Jason Thomas will break down more about that Justin Barsha Jet Lawrence incident. But this was the glorious moment. The crowd went crazy. Tomac's first overall win of 2024, and he sweeps again. He really is the king of the triple crown. Awesome performance. His 100th Supercross podium. It guarantees him a spot for the SMX World Finals. And there's Justin Barsha saying, man, it, it, it was just circumstantial. I'm sorry. And uh, there's, there's, there's no yeah. heated emotions there. Jet says, OK, I get it. I cut back. And Justin's saying, I, I couldn't do anything about it. So that was the overall podium. Tomac, Webb, and Hunter Lawrence getting his first ever 450 
Supercross podium, Cooper Webb wins the Triple Crown Championship within a championship. So, there you have it. Eli Tomac, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Doesn't get any better no. than that. Webb and <laughs> Lawrence. I don't think you would have predicted that podium at the beginning no, of the night. No, no, no. It was a, uh, it was a good ride for sure and uh, a lot of fun to watch. So that's how it finished as far as the Triple Crown. What about overall championship-wise? Jet Lawrence came into this race here in St. Louis this race weekend with a 16-point advantage, and he leaves with it being hard. Yeah. Ricky Cooper Webb slices it down to eight. Well, this is something else right here, Diff, and I, I mean this. Now we're coming to a break, and we're going to have the final stretch to the championship for Monster Energy Supercross in, in Salt Lake City. And for a guy like Cooper Webb to be this close and behind Jet Lawrence, and this is assuming Jet's going to be 100%, it's still going to be hard, and it's going to put Jet Lawrence in a spot where he can't slip up. Right, right. He has, there's no more gimmies, no more mulligans, I should say, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And we got the elements, too.